Well guys, we are currently in the Athens of the Philippines. It was actually the original Chinatown of the Iloilo actually in the Philippines. But we're here today, we're going to explore around. We've got behind us the Molo Plaza and then on the other side there, we've also got the Molo Mansion. There's also a sort of cafe area too that we can go to eventually as well. It is currently nearly sunset, so we're going to capture that and see all the different lights and everything coming along too. The fountain is in pure swing. What are you thinking of it so far, Anne? So nice it is quite nice. And there is, I believe, is that the Molo Church? I think, well, it must be, guys. Like, I mean, looking over here, there's just so much nice stuff going along. But let's go over to the fountain. The fountain. The fountain it is, guys. Let's have a look. I think the sunglasses need to come off because we are currently just in the midst of the very beginning of the sunset. Don't want to get sat down there, and that's just going to be completely soaking. But guys, that is looking quite nice. Photo opportunity right there. <laughs> I think that the splash was getting to her a bit. Let's see. I don't think I'll get splashed here. Yeah. I think there's like um, some sort of guy going along in the background too, guys, just singing his religious stuff or something like that too. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty nice wee area. Obviously, we've got to show you guys the mansion and inside that too before it gets closed and everything. But my goodness, guys, that just looks so, so, so nice. Tagalog song. A Tagalog song? Yeah. No, you're not getting me to sing. You're not getting me to sing. <laughs> not again, not this time. Maybe not, don't know, don't know. I know, yeah, it's a good sort of time to come, obviously. Guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but right in the distance there away from here across, I can actually see some magical sort of looking lights that have just came on as well. So I think that we're going to get over here across the road and have a wee inspection. Obviously the mansion there too. Looking cool. Um, does this mean anything? All this stuff on the floor, guys. There's like these circles and we're going on completely behind and everything too. I don't know. What? Is it not like a squid game sort of thing? I don't know. <laughs> it kind of looks like that with all that stuff going along. But yeah, right, no, let's get across here, guys. All right. Right for our dear lives, guys, getting across. Can we get? We got, we got. Okay. Well, this is some change there. Anne, what's up? Here, come here. Um, yeah. Okay, so as you can see behind us right there is the Mulu Mansion. We're kind yeah. of in the way, but there it is right there anyway. Let's go and have a look. Guys, it's actually looking quite nice in this whole wee area in the middle. Obviously over there, those are the lights that I was telling you about earlier, so we might have to get over there to have a wee look. Do you want to go here? Radio. What are these? Like we bluebells, something yeah. like that. Very, very nice. Wow, that looks really beautiful actually where you are. The whole water fountain there, the mansion behind. That looks pretty darn cool actually. From there. <laughs> no, it does but I think I want to go over and see this fountain guys. And then we will go and inspect. I think there's like artisanal stuff for sale in there too, yeah? So let's have a wee look at the mountain area. I don't know, I think I do see pestos in there, I think. I think that sometimes people sometimes do wishes at fountains. So if you're making sure I'm not getting the... Yeah, they'll throw a coin in a fountain and pretty much make a wish to... Well, you guys know what I'm talking about, to basically not tell anyone about. And hopefully it will come true. But let's go in and see this mansion, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's go. And guys, here it is in all its glory, up close and personal. That is looking quite cool. 
and lead the way. You look like the owned this place then. What year did you buy it in and has it appreciated in value since you lost? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's definitely a good investment, I'd say, so let's go look at these pillars, guys, and then the floor and all that is looking so, so cool. I mean, just the general atmosphere. I see a big chandelier. Hi there, how's it going? Up there, guys, look at how nice that is. And I believe this is just pretty much an artist sort of shop with all the different pearls, necklaces. Look at that. It's like a shell bag on. Do you see that, guys? It's so, so nice. Wow. Real mother of pearl then, guys. That's made out of. And then all the different other things. Cool. Very, very nice. Guys, the vibe in here is pretty nice too. I think it deserves a hat off moment because, honest to goodness, I <laughs> know, but it is really, really nice. And even the ceilings and everything. Like, we're seeing obviously a lot more than you guys can actually see. Something like that. <laughs> like shells and everything. Is this your sort of shop, Anna? This is all I do. Jewelry and just handcrafted things. I did read in the reviews that it was kind of like that. Very nice. Yeah, clothes, you name it, guys. Just lots and lots of different cool wee things. I think that this place is obviously very old and it's been converted into this style of thing, too. There's hats and everything up there, too, Anne. Would you like to try one? I remember I don't need one. Here. <laughs> I remember I don't need one like this. Very nice. How much is the hat? I don't know. <laughs> 3.50. So there you go, guys. If you want a hat in Ada Willow, come here and get one. There I remember go. in El Nido, like this. All right. Maybe need to eat. Cafe time? Yeah. Cafe time, guys. I think that's pretty much all there is in here. Obviously, the main focal point being the chandelier, which is very nice, actually. I'll go down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to get the whole thing in. You need to maybe come here and I need to go way back here. And that is the money shot, guys. <laughs> it's the best way I can do it, but to get all the actual mansion in, though. I mean, looking over here, guys, this cafe spot does look really pretty. I think we should maybe, there's actually quite a few. Which one do we choose on? That's actually a dilemma. There's, wow, okay. There's actually quite a few going on here, guys. So which one to choose? I think, I think I am liking that one over there because it's got the, the lights going on, so. Yeah, just simply for aesthetics, I think we're going to go to that one. Okay, we have to get a seat at some point too. Hi Hiya there, how's it going? Fresh fruit shakes, ma'am. Okay. Mango shake, one give us. 190, so is it, it must be a good shake. Yes, sir. Fresher. Fresh, freshly made. Fresh foods. Okay, we'll maybe get one we of those then. We also have our mango sticky rice here. Mango sticky rice? Yes, ma'am. And is that the speciality that you would sort of say? Yeah. That is our best seller, sir. Okay. How much is the mango sticky rice? Only 150 pesos, sir. 150. And also, how much are the nachos? Uh, 175. 175. Two kind of nachos, sir. Uh, mango cheesy and overload. And overload? What's the overload? Uh, with meat and veggies. Okay. Okay. No meat. <laughs> no meat? You don't want the meat? Okay, so we'll just get the regular ones then. I will get the nachos and maybe a mango shake. We'll keep it mango themed then. And then we'll obviously get a nice wee seat soon as well, if that's okay. Yes. Okay, cool. It looks absolutely beautiful in here, guys. And actually... I'll prepare the... your table. Okay, sell them up. Actually, it just looks really, really cool with all the different birds going on and everything, guys. Like there's... What do you call them? Parrots? 
in the sort of cages and all the different Kobe lights going along, which is really, really nice. It's actually proper busy too, so I think that we have got a table over here actually. Let's go and have a look at that, guys. Got a seat? Right, we'll have the uh, mango cheesy nachos and then also the would you like the mango shake on or would you like a different type of shake whipped cream, sir. mango with whipped cream yeah um and then what other drinks do you do let's uh, see we guys. have uh fruit peas uh soda water base and fruity tea base with bubbling boba and milk base middle do you have like a bubble tea yes sir let's have a look at the bubble tea menu guys i think I saw something like that online and then okay so these i will have a winter melon one please and i will also have some whipped cream with that as well okay okay sir whipped cream with whipped cream yes please winter melon with this awesome uh maybe sit over that round Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm, like here. Well, isn't this absolutely beautiful, guys? Yeah. We're sat down. Look at those lights behind us and above us. That is just literally beautiful. Um, we've obviously ordered everything. That should be coming quite soon. Mango on nachos? That does sound yeah. a bit strange. I'm not too used to hearing about stuff like that. I mean, I've never tried mango nachos before, but I mean, we'll give it a go while we're here. Obviously, Guamara's is quite close to Iloilo, where we are right now, so they're famous over there for their mangoes, actually. And these mangoes are from there. Actually, guys, I think there's actually some over here. I'll just quickly show you. Um, I did actually see that there were quite a bit of mangoes just up here waiting near the sort of restaurant area, so yeah, very, very soft sort of mangoes and everything too. I think, I wonder what's going on in here. I think that that's actually our shake being poured over there too. And there's a wee bell. Never, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty much where everything's being made and everything. Really, really cool. Should be ready. Uno, momento. Yeah, I saw it being poured. I think it's actually being poured over there. Or there's a... We got a bubble tea, didn't we? Very nice, thank you. Well, guys, would you look at that? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Guys, we're getting a photo taken. One, two, three. <laughs> and our other shake has just arrived. Salamat. And there's mango bits on top of it too. Very cool. One, two, three. One more. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, they are looking pretty snazzy. I can smell the fresh mango on top of it too. Yeah, it's a mango, this one. Like a milk tea. Milk tea? Yeah. Milk tea with the wee sort of, our arms are linked on. <laughs> Let's try and show these guys underneath. You can see the, the bubbles, the tapioca pearls. Yeah. Is that what you call them? They're called different in different ways. They look like Orbeez anyway. Like those little toys that you can get in everything too, guys. And then obviously we've got our cream on top too. It is a video on. Um... There's only one of them. I want to try this cream because it's thick cream. It's like... Let's see. What taste? Oh, it's very sweet. Oh, man. That is like a Christmassy sort of drink, guys. That's like um, pumpkin spice, but this is watermelon. My first video was watermelon iced tea, and now I'm having a winter melon sort of bubble tea. So keeping the theme and everything, guys, I'm actually going to give it a proper try here. This one's so nice. Fresh mango. Wow. That is so nice. It's like 
Spice. I don't know. It's just that Christmassy pumpkin spice exact sort of taste, but I thought of whenever I heard of the name. But I didn't know it would taste like that. That is so, so, so nice, actually. I'm surprised at that. <laughs> I actually really like that. <laughs> oh, cool. Right, you've got to try my winter melon one. And I've got to try your mango one. Give me your verdict. This is Milk tea? Yeah. And this is obviously pure mango in here? Yeah, pure mango. Right. I like I, this. I kind of want to try, guys, a bit of the mango. I might have to pick it off. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to try and get. Okay. As you would expect, it tastes like mango, so that's nice. But obviously the shake will also taste of mango. But is it mangoier than the bit of mango I've just had? Oh, it's so cold, it's like a slushy. Mm. Mm. A bit more. Mangoey. Guys, here's our nachos. And it comes with a separate sort of thing. Yes. Wow, salamat, thank you very much. Guys, look at that. There's like a. What is that? Like seaweed or something? Is that? It's like the seaweed sort of thing. Crispy seaweed, I think that is something along those lines. Seagrass. I had a seaweed then. Yeah, it's the sushi wrapper sort of stuff then. And then obviously, I think there's lots of mayonnaise. There's, our fan is blowing our crisps everywhere. But I think that then this gets put over here. We'll have to set it here or something on. And get our drinks precariously. Oh, we do. My goodness. How to do this? <laughs> I'm kind of I mean, sure you guys do. But yeah, get that nice and dipped in. What's that like? Is it good? Yeah. Are you sure? Because I'm not too sure. I'm apprehensive about it actually working. Alright, let's get it done. I want to get the full experience and get an actual bit of that seaweed stuff on it too. Okay. Very creamy, right. This reminds me of a mango pizza that I've tried in Gomara's actually. But it was like that cheese on top of that pizza with the mango inside it as well. And pretty much it tastes the same because cheese and mango equal the same taste whether it's nachos or a pizza. So this pretty much reminds me a lot of that. We've got a lot of nachos to get through. I think it was what they said, 160 or something? Something like that, you know. It's the location you're into, guys, and everything, if you're thinking about it. Obviously, that night stuff above. It actually looks really, really pretty over at the park area again. So we'll probably get all this ate and drank up. And then we'll have a wee stroll just by that fountain again. And let you see what it looks like up close and personal at night. Guys, there's a proper nighttime vibe going yeah. on here now. It's actually so cool. Like, I mean, compared to what it was like a minute ago, the atmosphere has just completely sort of like, I don't know, got into this sort of magical element or something. So nice lighting top. It is, yeah, the yeah. lights are so coming out now too, which is cool. Um, no, we'll definitely show you what it looks like over there soon. I just have to show you here. And there she blows at night, guys. How cool is that? Ah, no, that looks good. That looks pretty darn snazzy at night, guys. My goodness. I think I'm also going to be a shadow, but I mean, that is so cool. Day and night. Pretty nice, guys. I'm thinking you take me a photo, but only a video. Well, obviously, it's, it's okay, yeah. got to be the video. Here, what would you rate the nachos out of 10? Huh? Now that we're away. Maybe 9. 9? Yeah. Really? But the mango 10 over 10. Really? Yeah. Flipping heck, you never <laughs> give a score like that. I mean, honestly, I so did nice really. Food. No, it actually was. Yeah. It was expensive, but it was nice, and the location is pretty darn good too. So, yeah, overall, I'd rate everything all together probably about a nine as well. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we're not done. We're gonna go and see what it looks like over here. So let's go do that. Yeah. 
Right guys, you're not really going to be able to see anything other than the lights of the actual church itself and also the fountain is looking pretty darn nice and we can't see you at all but we can we can't see you at all here one moment no we kind of see you Thank you. <laughs> yeah guys it's the best way i can do it is to hold this thing in front and yeah it just looks really really nice there's a bit of eric clapton on in the background too i mean yeah atmosphere is 90 as they say in northern ireland there's actually that thing over there. There's like a, an Athens style sort of, I don't know what you'd call it, but I'll show you exactly what I mean and we'll head on over. Guys, we are now inside the thing I was trying to explain to you earlier. It's inside here where there's all these different statues going along. There's like a, a guy with the bows and the arrows and everything. I wonder if I can actually show you what he looks like here. Guys, now I can actually show you. What a cool wee statue going along and what a nice area really. like. All right guys, great time, great time. Yeah. I would thoroughly recommend it if you're in Iloilo to get yourself down to this area, the Athens of the Philippines.